Dr. Leland Pitt is the Professor of Marketing and Dennis F. Culver, EMBA Alumni Chair of Business for the Siegel Graduate School of Business at Simon Fraser University. A former program chair for the AMS Annual Conference, he currently serves the Academy on the Board of Governors. Thanks for agreeing to sit down with us this morning uh, and share your insights. Uh, I'd like to start out with a question uh, on what spurred your interest in studying marketing uh, during your career. I hate to admit this, but I got into marketing because it was the one program that I could do at the university that had the fewest accounting courses. <clears throat> so that's why I got into marketing. Uh, I guess I went, you know, I, as a kid, so you, you go to university because your parents have said this is a good idea and you should go to university. And the marketing program was the one that had the fewest requirements in accounting because I took one accounting course and I hated it. Mm -hmm. And so I got into marketing more by default than by desire, and it's something that, you know, life happens well sometimes. I've yeah. never so regretted it. Was that marketing at the undergraduate level? And you was just it marketing continued? in an undergrad business degree, yeah. yeah and, and what about at the doctoral level? Um, well, again, I, I hate to admit these things, but I, 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 I did an MBA and then decided I really didn't like working for a living. And I'd, I'd been a teaching assistant while I was doing the MBA and I thought this this is fun and so I thought I'd, I'd, I'd rather go back and, and get a PhD and and uh, do these things that the people I'd worked with were doing and realize just what a great life this was and never regretted it. Okay well when you reflect upon your career uh, you've obviously enjoyed some success uh, what what are you most proud of uh, in your accomplishments uh, over your career? The things I'm most proud of are the people that I have brought to this um, career uh, that, who, who've, who've done what I've done and done a lot better than I've done. I think to me that's, that's the things that I'm, I've, I've, I've had students who are now marketing faculty. Andrew Ainsley is at UCLA, Pierre Berthon is a, a, an endowed chair at Bentley in, in Boston. Uh, Mike Ewing is the head of uh, marketing at Monash in Australia. So these are all people that wouldn't have done this if I hadn't brought them to it. And uh, I'm, I'm proud of that. It's, it's people that I, I know and I love and who I, uh, I'm proud of what they've done. You've obviously been very successful uh, in your career. And when you reflect back on your career, uh, what are some of the factors that you believe contributed toward your ability to be so successful? Firstly, I was very lucky. I met some very good people, a lot of them in this organization, uh, and uh, others who've been associated with this organization uh, who, who've, who've really helped me, who've, who've, who've given me advice, who've created opportunities for teaching for me, uh, who've created opportunities to do research for me. Uh, just to, apart from the people in this organization, John Dayton at Harvard Business School has always been a really good, solid friend of mine who's always given me great advice, created opportunities for me in terms of teaching, writing cases and so forth. Mac Hulbert, who retired from Columbia, uh, was a great friend and really, I think having the right friends and the right contacts and the networks is, is more, more, more a factor of success than anything that I can think of. You've been very involved in the Academy of Marketing Science for many years. Uh, what do you believe has been the, uh, the role of the Academy in supporting you and encouraging you and helping you to be successful throughout your career? Uh, this is a wonderful organization, and I don't just say that because I'm at the conference at the moment. I, I've, I think in the past 17 years I've only missed two AMS conferences. And I always tell people who come to this conference for the first time, this is the most friendly conference in our discipline uh, with the nicest people. Every year it's a great opportunity to meet people and you, by meeting people you establish your networks, you establish opportunities for yourself. I don't know of another organization in marketing that does it like the Academy of Marketing Science. You've conducted research in many different fields in marketing. Uh, 
if you reflect on, on the areas that you've uh, been exposed to and, and you see how the field is changing, what are some areas that you believe uh, deserve additional research in the future? I've always thought marketing is, is one of those disciplines where the discipline does not shape its tools so much as its tools shape the discipline. And in the past 15 or 20 years, we've had so many tools emerge, mostly from practice, uh, that have really changed the way marketing works. And I think, uh, the, to me, the biggest opportunities are, are still being created by technology. And I think this is really being put into overdrive by uh, technology such as social media, social network technology, um, consumers who are now as much part of the production process as they are consumers of the results of that process. Um, I, in many ways I think one of the most exciting opportunities is that we really can't talk of consumers anymore. Uh, consumers are, are as much part of the production process today uh, as they are of, of just merely consuming the offerings of organizations. And I think those are the kinds of scenarios that will really create very exciting research opportunities in the future. When you, when you think about new faculty and, and young faculty, uh, they would certainly aspire to be as successful as you have been. Uh, what are some insights that you could share with them on the things that would help them uh, to be successful? I think a lot of them are going to be a lot more successful than me. Um, the first bit of advice I would give them is, is don't take it too seriously. This is a lot of fun. You're going to really enjoy yourself if you do this properly. Uh, I think we're very, very fortunate to be able to work in, in as exciting and as rewarding a, a field as we do. Um, and I think the other thing that we should always remember is, is we, we are one of those jobs or professions where we really do have an opportunity to influence lives for the better and uh, never forget that and uh, the rest will fall into place if you, if you remember that I think. And if you think about your career, uh, some of the things that you've achieved, uh, we'd like for you to, to summarize the, the one or two things that, that you believe represent uh, your major contributions to the field of marketing. I would say my, the, the, the work I'm most proud of, um, some of it is not in marketing, but it was, it, it's in an, in an overlap between marketing and other disciplines. I've, I've published some work in, in the major information systems journals like MIS Quarterly, uh, Information Systems Research, uh, that has really been as a result of trying to bring marketing ideas to those fields and then learning from those fields and bringing them to marketing. Uh, so I, I had some, some work on, on service quality and satisfaction in, in information systems, uh, which uh, has been widely cited and is, is, has been noted in that, in that area. And then in marketing, I think um, the, the work I'm most proud of is, is, is work that I've done with Pierre Berth on, on looking at other ways for firms to be oriented than merely being market oriented. You know, there are arguments to be made for firms being technology oriented or product oriented, despite what many of our marketing textbooks say. Um, I'm pretty happy about that work that we've done in that area. Good.